Are we excited or what? We are not here to tolerate today. We are here to celebrate. The class of 2017, well done. And I want you to know today, all of the undergraduate graduation, graduates today have decided to do their masters. All the master students are now going for their doctorate. What do you think? Would you please pass out motion sickness pills? Let's pray. Abba, Papa, Daddy. We all have something in common here. We have received the spirit of adoption by which we cry, Abba, Papa. Lord, we believe there is an open portal between heaven and earth right now because, Lord, we've already prayed, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, but right now, kingdom come. Tonight, your will be done on earth right here as it is in heaven. Tonight, Lord, I thank you as we celebrate these accomplishments. I thank you, Lord, for the administration and the faculty and the students at faith. I thank you, Lord, that these leaders here literally have their fingerprints, the fingerprints of eternity, anointed fingerprints, over each and every one of these students. And what has been information, what has been inspiration, and what has been impartation is going to be furthering the kingdom and making it as difficult as possible in communities around the world for individuals to miss the great Messiah, Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, we ask you, Baruch, would you bless this evening? Lord, would you just be honored? You are El Shaddai. You are the all-sufficient one. And in your sovereignty and in your all-sufficiency, we embrace an evening that you foreknew before the foundations of the world. And Lord, so we know you are celebrating with us in the name of Jesus. And everybody who's in love with Jesus and will be spending eternity with him said either amen or amen. Take your choice. Amen. Let's be seated. My name is Bill. I'm the lead pastor here at Church for All Nations. And I want to let you know I also have a record. I have a past. And I earned my doctorate at what was formerly called Faith Evangelical Lutheran Seminary, now Faith International University. So I want you to know I am a product of the product. So for those of you that are worried about your kids, your loved ones, they will be just like me in 28 years. <laughs> Should we all go home now? I am hearing the moaning and groaning in the spirit behind me. I want to share something with you that we do every Saturday morning here. This is a dual expression congregation. We reach out to Jews who are coming to know, as myself, uh, Jesus as Lord and Savior. And on Sunday, we have over 50 different nations that attend. And we always open with these words, and I want to explain to you why and why it's relevant to the seminary tonight. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai, key word, Echad, Baruch Shem Kavod, Malkuto, Leolam Ba'ed. I'm not here to Judaize tonight. I'm not here to do a commentary on Galatians. I'm here to tell you at Faith Seminary, this speaks about who we are. We believe, and we want you to hear this, that we serve only one God. Jesus Christ, the King of kings and Lord of lords. I just said to you, hear Israel, the Lord is our God. Who can say amen to that tonight? Amen. The Lord is one. That word is echad, a unity. Our God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one, but he also calls us to be one. In John 17, he prayed, Lord, make the body of believers one, even as we are one, so that people will believe that the Father has sent 
the Son. I want to just ask you this question tonight. How many of you really walk in oneness in the body of Christ? Because that's what Faith Evangelical University, Faith International University is all about. As you get to know the students, as you get to know the professors, we are diverse. On our staff, you see black, white, red, yellow, brown, and of course, I like to bring up olive skin. On, you also see people of many different backgrounds. And then you have the chairman of our faculty, Dr. Jowers, who fixes my theology on an ongoing basis, and we are grateful. But I want to really encourage you to know this. Those of you that are graduating tonight, if there's one thing since 1969 we inherited from our leader, Reuben Radal, and that Dr. Michael J. Adams has continued, and everyone here, we walk in oneness. We walk in unity. We walk in a chad. If you could look at the diversity of faith, and if you could look at the diversity of our university, and oh, how they love one another, if you would just go to faith, you would believe the Father has sent the Son. And we believe as you go out and you pioneer churches, as you go out and continue in the work of the ministry you're in, we believe with all of our heart, you are gonna have that spirit of chad, which brings me to my final Hebrew words. Whenever you see me, you need to know a little Hebrew. It's me, I'm five foot five, and it is this. <laughs> I will not use that one next year. <laughs> Look for the word again. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. That's where God commands a blessing. And tonight I want you to know and I am so grateful that has been through the most difficult seasons. Even as Faith Seminary Times has gone through the midnight hour of its soul, if there's one thing under the leadership of Dr. Adams, our administration, our faculty, and our students that I've noticed, there's been unity. There's been oneness. There's not been backbiting. There's not been gossip. It's like people just so filled with the spirit of dwelling together. I believe tonight, once again, this is my 10th graduation at Faith Seminary, and I want to let you know, achad. Everyone look at your neighbor. This is your chance to spit. Everyone say, achad, achad. We are one. We are unified. We are one in the spirit, and I just want to let you know tonight, let us be of one spirit, one mind, one Lord, one baptism. Let us be unified, and let us have one thing in common. Oh, how we're going to celebrate the tremendous accomplishments of these mighty men and mighty women of God who will move forward, living their life with eternity stamped on their eyeballs. And now would you please welcome my mentor and the individual who was the president of faith when I first started, and that is Dr. Michael J. Adams. Join me in welcoming him. Well, a blessed good evening, loved ones. On behalf of the governing board, the faculty, and the administration, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the 45th annual commencement of Faith International University and Seminary. This is, of course, our first commencement under this name. It's an exciting evening as we Greet the class of 2017, a noble group of students, strong both intellectually and spiritually. These are students who have been diligent in their studies to show themselves approved. They are graduates of a seminary founded 48 years ago and built on the inerrancy of Holy Scripture. And they will continue to uphold faithfully the Word of God in whatever capacity the Lord ordains. There are four things I inevitably say at our annual commencement. The good thing about that is I don't have to create a new speech every year. I say the same things. The first three are for the graduates, the last one for you, the audience. First, to the graduates, 
The world is not waiting with bated breath for your arrival upon the scene. As a matter of fact, for the world, the opposite is true. Yet you live to serve Jesus Christ and obey the Word of God no matter how much you may offend the world. You always speak the truth in love. Although the world may not be excited for you, we are. All of heaven rejoices over you and demons tremble. The second thing I say to the graduates is this. Don't seek work. Seek the Lord. I've been doing this for a long time and work's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> but see, God has predestined you for good works. You were chosen and you were called before the foundation of the world. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Come on. Don't get me started. <laughs> All right. As Charles Haddon Spurgeon once said, he said, I am thanking God that he chose me before the foundations of the world, for he certainly wouldn't choose me now. <laughs> <laughs> Discover God's plan for you. Some are already employed, and you know what God has called you to do. But if you're not, Seek Him. And whether you get a check from a church or you get a check from a Fortune 500 company, work as unto the Lord. It won't hurt my feelings if you get a check from a Fortune 500 company either. I need more of you. All right? The third thing I say to the graduates is this. Take God seriously, but do not take yourself too seriously. Even as you work hard, Learn to rest in the Lord. Every minute is not vital. It is not. If that were true, then God would not have created human bodies that demand we lay unconscious for one-third of our lives. It's called sleep. <laughs> Try to get some. Now, the fourth thing I say is to the audience. I turn to you. Let me preface it with this. I once attended a local high school graduation and heard someone remind all the students, some educator got up and said, this is a formal event. And then the person asked us, the audience, to hold all applause and cheers until all 329 names had been called. And I thought, fat chance. <laughs> and he called himself an educator. I wasn't there to come and sit on my hands. I had come to cheer. I had come to celebrate. Even in a formal event, and loved ones, I know why you're here. You're here with a primary purpose. You're here to take, make some noise, to clap and cheer with gusto when you hear someone's name called. And even though this is a church setting, don't be afraid to get loud. It gets loud in here every Sunday morning. It can handle it. So these graduates have earned your cheers and adoration and praise. They've earned it, so we will cheer them on. And I hope you cheer for every name, because this is streaming video. Not everyone can be here but they may, may be at a church. Not everyone has been able to come with a big family, a big posse. No, not everybody has that with them, but cheer them all on as we call their names, please. And I'm so committed to this that we're going to practice right now. I'm gonna call out some names and you're gonna cheer after I call out the names, ready? Andrew James Hardy. <laughs> Try it again. Ethan Michael Paul Backey. Benjamin Christopher Hardy. Come on now, come on, come on, come on. Esme Ray Gomez. And one more, one more. Big cheer, Gabriel Christopher Hardy. Those are my five grandchildren. One French Canadian last name Backy. Three African American last name Hardy, and one Hispanic granddaughter, last name Gomez. You are looking at the United Nations of Grandpas, right here. So welcome 
to a wonderful, momentous, formal, and somewhat noisy event. Congratulations to the class of 2017. May God be praised and glorified in all we say and do. I thank you. I now present Dr. Kyu Hyun Lee, the Vice President for International Affairs. Thank you, Dr. Adams. <laughs> Greetings. I do this because it is in the order. So I do. Uh, <laughs> yes, I do. Welcome and congratulations, uh, Class 2017. You did great since you are here. Uh, Faith International University used to be Faith Evangelical College and Seminary, used to be Faith Evangelical Seminary, and used to be Faith Evangelical Lutheran Seminary. Uh, we have been having great uh, tradition and uniqueness in our commencement. And one of them is that I address my greetings in Korean. I get to choose that, and I'm allowed to do that, so please understand and use your gift of tongue <laughs> and gift of translation. Well, I do this every year, and every audience will laugh because it's just the first time you do hear about it. Uh, while we celebrate our 45th uh, uh, commencement, this year we celebrate uh, 500th anniversary of Reformation. And it is about our faith, and it is about our uh, uh, grace coming from God, and it is about our Lord Jesus Christ. It is about the glory of God, not ourselves, in believing and in pursuing whatever that God wants us to do. So, uh, it is about, the little uh, uh, speech is about uh, our basic uh, essence of reformation uh, going back to the scripture. Uh, that I would uh, talk about in Korea. Here we go. Uh, 참석하신 우리 하객 여러분, 축하객 여러분, 가족 여러분, 그리고 uh, 졸업생 여러분, uh, 축하하고 환영하고 감사합니다. 여러분들의 수고가 오늘의 이 자리를 uh, 만들어 줄로 믿습니다. 그동안 고생하신 모든 가족, 형제, 친지 여러분에게 uh, 박수를 드립니다. 와우. Wow. Everybody understands it. Thank you. Uh, 올해는 종교 개혁 500주년을 맞는 해입니다. 이 해를 통해 우리가 생각해 볼 일이 분명히 있고 이 uh, 종교 개혁의 의미를 따지는 일이 졸업을 하는 2017년도 졸업생 여러분 모두에게 크게 의미 있는 것이 될 것으로 어, 믿어서 이 같은 말씀을 어, 요약해서 나누게 됩니다. 종교개혁의 정신은 말씀으로 돌아가자는 것이었습니다. Going back to the scriptures. Yes? yes. Thank you. Everybody understands it. <웃음> 종교개혁의 정신은 바로 그 말씀으로 돌아가는 일들을 믿음으로 그리스도를 통해서 그리고 어, 오직 하나님의 어, 말씀으로 그리고 하나님의 영광을 위해서 행하는 일이 목표였습니다. 아멘. Everybody understands. It. 졸업은 하나의 챕터를 마감하는 일이라고 믿습니다. 
그 챕터를 마감하면서 가지게 된 모든 지식과 깨달음과 인격적 영향과 통찰력과 모든 것들을 합해서 이제 앞으로 행해야 될 일이 무엇인가 하면 바로 하나님을 중히, 중히 여기고 말씀을 중히 여긴 종교개혁자들이 하나님의 말씀으로 이 자신과 함께 이 세대를 개혁하는 일을 바로 하자는 다짐이 이루어지는 일이 저와 여러분들에게 요구되는 일이라고 믿는다는 것입니다 그 종교개혁의 정신을 여러분들의 남은 삶의 자리에서 크게 펼쳐서 다른 사람들을 변화시키는 Reforming Reformers 다른 사람들을 개혁하는 개혁자가 되어주기를 부탁드립니다 Please be Reforming Reformers So we can enhance the kingdom of God Until our Lord comes back again Amen Thank you 감사합니다. <웃음> uh, let me make just very quickly some introductions. I want to introduce our uh, faculty and uh, our board members here. And I, I won't use their titles. They're almost all doctors, so we won't get into that. And many are reverends. But I want to introduce um, Dennis Jowers on the end. Let's w a t Dennis Jowers. Say hello. We can wave at everybody. Then we have Willis Newman, Esme Newman, we have Yoon Wong, Bruce Bernoski, James Tilley, John Wheeler, Jay Diller, behind Jay Diller is Timothy Hyun, James Gibson, Q Hyun Lee, And of course, we have Bill Wilson, and behind him, Chairman of the Board, Carl Zetterberg, and Member of the Board, Paul Radol. And Paul Radol is going to sing for us now. His father started the seminary. Paul, we usually have a duet here. His brother, Mark, uh, a, um, has a very nice uh, baritone voice. Paul is a tenor. His father was a tenor. His father, Reuben Radal, actually was the lead tenor in the St. Olaf Choir. Now, if you know anything about the St. Olaf Choir, you can have a really good voice and not even make the choir. You can have a soloist voice and not even make that choir. His father was the lead tenor in that St. Olaf Choir. And I'm delighted to have uh, Paul Radal here sing for us. And Paul? And Accompanied by Jen s h i l Let's welcome them both. In my darkness, Jesus found me. Touched my eyes and made me see Broke sin's chains that long had bound me Gave me life and liberty Oh, glorious love of Christ my Lord divine stoop to save a soul like mine through all my days and then in heaven above my song will silence never I'll worship him forever and praise him for his glorious love truth to ponder He whom angel hosts attend Lord of heaven 
heaven, God's Son, what wonder. He became the sinner's friend. Oh, glorious love of Christ, my Lord divine, that made him stoop to save a soul like mine. Through all my days and then in heaven above, my soul silence never I'll worship him forever and praise him for his glorious love my song will silence never I'll worship him forever and praise him for his glorious love and praise him for his glorious love and praise him for his glorious love thank you I love that song written by John Peterson. I love that song. It just says it. Uh, you know, he just opened my eyes. He just did. What up? And to stoop so low to save a soul like mine. Yes. Wow. Yes. Powerful, powerful, powerful. We now have a commencement address um, from the Reverend Bubba Jennings. Now, he is from the Resurrection Church not Revolution Church. We try really hard on these bulletins, folks, to get them very accurate, but he is the pastor of Resurrection Church in uh, downtown Tacoma by Wright Park. I drove by there this morning. So many great things going on at that church, and um, he was really the first person I thought of to come and bring an address. Bubba, why don't you make your way up here? Where are you? Come on. Here we come. Let's greet the Reverend Bubba Jennings on behalf of the class of 2017. Tonight's a, a big deal for me. I'm the first person in my family to graduate high school. I'm the first person in my family to graduate college. Um, and I just want to speak to the graduates. I know that this is a milestone for us. This is a, one of those moments in life that you will remember for the rest of your life, an important time. And to get here tonight, uh, took a lot of effort. It took, it took time. You, you spent hundreds, maybe even thousands of hours just reading until your eyes bled. <laughs> Writing papers until your, your fingers felt like they were going to fall apart. As well, you have been committed. Perseverance, endurance, steadfastness. It has also required great sacrifice on your behalf, as well on the behalf of your friends and family, your support system. And so I want to acknowledge the great effort that you've put forth, and I want to commend you, and I want to celebrate you, and I want to thank you, and I want to say congratulations, well done. Now, if you're like me, you might be thinking, what's next? Mm. You know, we had, we had a checkbox that said degree, get that degree. Mm. And we marked that, that box tonight. What's next? Right. Right. Maybe, maybe you have a plan, maybe you don't have a plan. Maybe you know what you're doing going forward, maybe you don't. If you have a plan, if you don't have a plan, based on your personality, you're likely experiencing a host of emotions. Tonight, happiness. Tonight, celebration. Tomorrow, anxiety. I hope not. 
But there, there will be many emotions. And what I want to share with you is a word from the Word, the Word of God, to give you some encouragement, whether you have a plan, whether you don't, whether you're feeling excited, happy, nervous, fearful. When Dr. Adams asked me to speak tonight, I was honored and I said yes, and then my first thought was, what am I gonna say? <laughs> and immediately God told me what to say. And so I'm sharing with you what God put on my heart to share with you. And this is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. These are words from a wise, older pastor, Pastor Paul, and he is writing to his young protege, Timothy, and he's speaking a word of encouragement to him. And this is what he said. You then, my child, be strengthened by the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. I think there's two things we see in this in this word that are important for us. One has to do with grace, the other has to do with making an investment. You see, he says here, be strengthened by the grace that is in Christ Jesus. That unmerited favor, that, that love, enduring love of God that has nothing to do with what you have done. Rather, he just loves you because he's good. He loves you because his heart is beating mercy and grace for sinners like us, bringing us into his family, adopting us, giving us a new identity, a new life. And there will come a time, whether it's a week from now or a year from now or years from now, when you are going to be in a place where you are weak, a place where you do not know what to do, and when you are weak, when you do not know what to do, that's when you remember these words. You remember that your God said to you, be strengthened by grace. For when we are weak, he is strong. And his grace is sufficient always. And so the beauty of that is that we don't have to have a plan. We don't have to have it figured out. Uh, we can actually not know what we're going to do. We can fail, and yet God will still love and he will still give grace. That's right. And so our motivation is not to succeed so that we'll be accepted, but rather to passionately serve because we've already been ex accepted. That's right. And that's grace. The second thing I want to share with you has to do with making an investment. He said here that we are to entrust what we've learned to others. I think this is important. There is this, this high calling, this responsibility that, that comes with just the name of Christian. And you have received something that many would love to have, and that is an education. But not just any kind of an, ed an education. You've received a Christian education. You've received the deep truths of Scripture and the Gospel. You've heard about how our God out of nothing created the universe and how God created humanity in His image and likeness, and how we turned from God, and yet God pursued and loved, how God entered into this, this, this world, this broken world, this fragile world, taking on flesh and humanity on a rescue mission to save us. You've heard these things. You've heard how God became the man Jesus and lived without sin and went to the cross and died in our place for our sin and then rose from the grave conquering sin and death. You've heard how Jesus ascended into heaven and is, is on a throne right now, reigning and ruling. He's on the throne looking at you right now. Right. You know these things. You've heard these things. You receive these things, but you also have a responsibility to share these things. Correct. That high calling, Christian, now there's going to be a degree behind it. You've been poured into, therefore, you ought to pour into others. And so you've been entrusted with the word, the word, the gospel, so that you can entrust it to others. 
And it doesn't matter what title you have or what role you have. You still have a high calling. And so I want to invite you to live for the legacy of Jesus. I want to invite you to know that when you invest in another person, it's worth it because people are worth it. I want to invite you to, to, to see that every conversation is a moment of discipleship where we propel the good news forward and lives are changed because our God is alive and he gives life. And I want you to remember that one day Jesus will make all things new. There there are times when I have to just stop and remind myself of that. That one day there will be a, a new heavens, a new earth, that the city of God, the new Jerusalem will come from heaven to earth and that Jesus will dwell with his people face to face. That we will, we will spend eternity with him face to face. And why that's so incredibly important is because the investments we make now have eternal implications. There are people out in the world who God is calling you to go and reach. And he's counting on you so that they can one day be in eternity with you. Now, we don't save. He does the saving. But he does call us to proclaim the good news and to share what we have learned with others. And so I want you to think of those things, the face of Jesus, his glory. I want you to think of hearing those words, well done, good and faithful servant. And when you get discouraged, remember, you can be strengthened by his grace. And he has called you to entrust what you have learned to others. It's a high calling, friends. And in order for us to be kingdom-minded and kingdom-hearted, there has to be an attitude that we have. And this is the attitude that I believe God is calling us to. Life is not about what you get. It's about what you give. There's a lot of people that get a degree so they can get stuff. And you've been given a degree so that you can give the good news of Jesus. Thank you. Come on, let's hear it one more time for Bubba Jennings, Pastor Bubba Jennings, Resurrection Church. It's a great word. It is an amazing thing that a sovereign God uses means. He uses means to get the job done. And what a privilege it is to be part of that plan. What an utter privilege it is. Well, folks, look here. If you're following... The bulletin, it is now time for the presentation of graduates. All right, here it is. I'll need my faculty to stand and and greet the graduates as they come up, who will all stand during this. And we're going to start here with a, um, I have those that are receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Education. Please stand, Bachelor of Arts in Education. Thank you. Let's greet them. Okay. Again, this is a four-year, four-year degree. Our first recipient is Moon Hui Che. Can I say that? Che Moon Hee. Greet the faculty, please. Say hi to everybody. Yeah. Yeah, you have to run the gauntlet one more time. <clears throat> and what you don't want to hear from a faculty member is, you made it? No, 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 no. Um, Jessica Diane Collins. You don't have to. She's absentia, I believe. Absentia. Rui Gao. Thank you, Gloria. Excellent. Thank you. Zhang Tan. Now, the Bachelor of Arts in Leadership. 
Again, another four-year degree involving general education, leadership classes, Bible theology. It's the full meal deal, 180 quarter hours. First recipient, Bachelor of Arts in Leadership, Rita F. Catching. One more time for Rita F. Catching. <laughs> May Jan Chu Kelly. <laughs> Jessica Schaefer Forrester. <laughs> Timothy J. Foltz. J. Gelder. That's right, special effects coming in now. We're talking. Now we're having fun. All right. Robert Harrison Hostler. Herbert Daniel Jones. Aaron Sanders Logue. <laughs> All right. Mark Wilbert McGinn. Here we go. Rosalind Latrice Harrington Moxon. All right. Congratulations. Jamie K. Purewall. <laughs> Noah Scott Rhea. <laughs> Carrie C. Salima. <laughs> Joshua Vetter. Here we go. Kristen L. Wilner. And Charlene Slavin. She got it already. She got it already, right? Is that there? She got it. Woo! She got it. There's our picture right here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Yay, Grandma. Come on. One more time for Grandma. Come on. All right. <clears throat> Trevor James Wolnisty. Edward Earl Young. Perfect. All right. All right. One more time for Edward Earl Young. Edward Earl Young. <laughs> Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Religion, Elizabeth Ann Atwood. Lacey Lynn Corbett. Christopher R. Hayes. Young Hee Huang. Huang Young Hee. Great, you have it.
What, one more back. Some people get a double hit. Wan Yo Jung. Chang Wan Yo. She here? Okay. All right. Sung Hei Lee. Here. Lee Sung Hei. Justin J. Lewis. Justin J. Lewis. One more time for Justin J. Lewis. Robin R. McCoy. Absolutely. Brandon Palmer Monroe. Hung Book Moon. Moon Hung Book. Pastor's wife. <laughs> I don't know. I should, I'm, ah, summon him. <clears throat> Terrence A. Nixon. <laughs> All right, Terrence Nixon. <laughs> One more fine for Terrence A. Nixon. Come on. <laughs> Yoon Hee Park. Park Eun Hee. <laughs> One more time for Yoon Hee Park. Shane Michael Rowley. Caleb David Shuey. <laughs> oh, was it? Can we try it again? Back here. Yeah. One hit, right? Ready. Here we go. New degree. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we're in business. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Kyle William Smith. Jean Shell Song. In absentia. Su Wong Song. Song Su Ung. Tobias Laharoy Estel Tom, Andrew Michael York. Let's greet the Bachelor of Arts in Religion one more time. Thank you. <laughs> Master of Arts in Christian Counseling, please come forward, please. Master of Arts in Christian Counseling. Our first recipient is Xavier Sovereign Justice. <laughs> I want that name so bad. Wow, I just, I love that name. Jin Lee. E. Jin in absentia. Bruce Anderson Lewis. for Bruce Lewis. One more time, Bruce Lewis. 
Uh -huh. Oh, nice Get him the right diploma. <clears throat> Glennis E. McLean. Paula J. Shore. <laughs> One more time for Paula J. Shore. <laughs> Su Yun Soon. Song Su Yun. And a big shout out for Carissa Michelle Wolfson. <laughs> Our Master of Arts in Christian Education, Joyce Harrell. Harold, let's celebrate her. Master of Arts in Christian Ministry. Let me announce Jong Yoon Park. Park Jong Yoon, an abstention. Master of Arts in Leadership Ministry, please come forward. <clears throat> the incomparable Bubba Jennings. Right. <clears throat> Lee Lu. Lilith Washington Williams. <clears throat> With a concentration in Christian counseling, Shine Hickman. <clears throat> Young Bok Sim. <clears throat> Sim Young Bok. Can we borrow an iPhone? Those things happen, thank God. Our photographer is a consummate professional. Let's get him here. A consummate professional. Let's greet our photographer, ladies and gentlemen. Let's thank God for him. All right. Okay. I said, uh, Su Chul Song. Okay. Now we have the concentration in global leadership. Galia Mogodova. Wonderful, wonderful. And with a concentration in life coaching, not here, but it is Ty Stottlemyre. <laughs> All right. All right, let's greet those receiving the Master of Arts in Christian Ministry and Leadership Ministry one more time. Master of Arts in Theological Studies, please come forward. Master of Arts in Theological Studies. All right. 
We have Naomi Callahan Chavez. One more time for Naomi Callahan Chavez. <laughs> Jesus E. Garcia. Jesus Garcia. <laughs> Joseph Fess Hockmuth. from home. Corey S. House. <laughs> Antonio D. Johnson. All the way from San Diego. <laughs> Hoyan Kim. Kim Hoyan in absentia. <laughs> James Adam Najar. <laughs> and Carolyn Denise Ware. And earning the Master of Arts in Theological Studies, Interdisciplinary Studies, Stephen Glenn Neufeld. <laughs> Under the Lutheran track, Matthew David Abel. Master of Divinity, please come forward. Okay, now we're getting serious. Master of Divinity. This is a three-year master's degree. It involves Greek and Hebrew. Wow. It's a lot of work to get this thing done. The Master of Arts in Theological Studies is difficult. Master of Divinity is ornery. <clears throat> okay. Our first recipient is Nancy Paula Burt. We have Suhoi Che. Che Suho. Ji Yi Dryer. Matthew James Hunter, Jr. <laughs> Dale L. Jackinen, Jr. Okay, I think that deserves Dale L. Jockinen Jr. one more time here for that. We have David Perez. Okay. Oh, let's see, here we at, where we at, okay. All the way from Huntsville, Alabama. Timothy Mark Rainey. Oh, 
One more time for Timothy Mark Rainey. Brian William Sawyers. Jeremy B. Wong. Graduate Certificate in Leadership. We have Ng Se Lee. Chu Kian To. And will the Doctor of Strategic Leadership degree recipient please stand? There we go. Here he comes. Doctor of Strategic Leadership, 80 quarter hours of doctoral studies. The Doctor of Ministry is 48 hours. This is quite another honorary degree. But we're honored to have this recipient here tonight. He is local. He is Ty Belknap, Doctor of Strategic Leadership. Ty Belknap, Doctor of Strategic Leadership. One more time for Ty Belknap. Thank you. And we are delighted early in the year to present a Doctor of Humane Letters to George Frederick Brummel IV. Let's cheer him on as well. One more time for all of our graduates, the class of 2017. One more big cheer. One more big cheer for this class. Come on. You may be seated, and we will have, just before the recessional, we'll have Paul Radal sing the Lord's Prayer. His father would always do this at our commencements for many, many years. He did it up to the age of 84. And he didn't miss a beat. At 84, that tenor was still singing the Lord's Prayer, and I loved every minute of it. And after the Lord's Prayer, I will come and give some instructions, offer a benediction, and then we will have the graduates um, uh, to uh, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. They will march out and after they will follow the faculty out. And here's what we have to do. Don't grab them till they get outside, please. <laughs> because what'll happen is it just becomes a big freeway nightmare. So we just need to make sure that the faculty will head out and then the, the, the graduates will follow and we'll meet you out in the foyer where there is a wonderful reception. There's lots of cool beverages, which we could all use right now, and little snacks. So we'll do that, okay, but right now, the Lord's Prayer. <clears throat> Our Father who art in heaven Thy king 
kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in Give us this day our daily bread And forgive us our debts As we forgive our debtors And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Oh. Thank you. Let us all stand. Let us all stand for the benediction and then the recessional. The Lord said to Moses, tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the people of God. Say to them, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Let us go in peace. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2017. Faculty, let's go.